Every day and each week brings us closer to the future. This week's AI news roundup is, let's jump into it. China released their own version of OpenAI's Sora called Vidu. It is a text-to-video model developed by Shengshu Technology and Tsinghua University in China. It can generate 16-second video clips at 1080p resolution. Here are some examples. Francis will attend the upcoming G7 meeting in Italy. G7 is a platform for international politics and economics. He'll take part in a working session where the topic of AI's implications and problems will be covered. The Pope's visit was confirmed by Italian PM Giorgia Maloney, who emphasized the significance of his role in creating an ethical and legal foundation for AI. Maloney described AI as one of the greatest anthropological challenges of our time. Instagram is now testing a tool called Creator AI that will allow influencers to communicate with their followers using AI chatbots. The chatbots would imitate the influencer's unique voice and style based on their Instagram posts. The idea is to assist influencers with huge followings in creating stronger fan connections while minimizing personal response time. China's SenseTime says that in 12 out of 14 test categories, its generative AI model, SenseNova 5.0, outscored both the Llama 370B model and OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo. SenseNova 5.0 is a hybrid of transformer and recurrent neural networks trained on over 10 terabytes of data tokens, including synthetic data. It can maintain up to 200,000 tokens of context in reasoning. Apple has a secretive AI research facility called the Zurich Vision Lab in Switzerland. The lab is working in computer vision, machine learning, robotics, AI, and autonomous systems. Its research likely contributes to the rumored Apple Car, VR headsets, and Siri improvements. Some of the lab's work has already made it into products like FaceTime's eye contact correction. Last year, LLMs had a context length of only 8K tokens, causing them to forget earlier parts of conversations. But now, researchers at Gradient AI have released a version of Llama 3.8b with a context length of over 1 million tokens on Hugging Face. That means the model can remember approximately 750,000 words from the conversation. This allows the model to process several novels and then answer questions about them. K. Twig's testimony before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Subcommittee on Intellectual Property regarding the regulation of AI and deepfakes. She revealed that she has been developing her own AI deepfake for the past year. Amazon has made a new AI assistant called Amazon Q. It is a smart helper for making software and understanding business stuff. It can write, test, and fix code. And it also helps find important business information. It's for both developers and businesses. For businesses, it's like a search engine for all their important data. Prices start at $20 a month for each person using it. More and more groups are talking to politicians about AI. Big tech companies like Amazon, Meta, Google, and Microsoft are spending lots of money on this. They're trying to influence the rules about AI. Even though the official numbers might not show everything they're spending, it's probably much more than $10 million. Google has laid off its entire Python team as part of its cost-cutting efforts and outsourcing to cheaper labor markets outside the U.S. This deeply affected employees who managed Google's Python ecosystem. Google's strategy is to expand operations in Bangalore, Mexico City, and Dublin while focusing heavily on AI. Apple has cut production of its Vision Pro headset due to weaker than expected demand. Initially planned to produce around 1 million units in its first year, it is now aiming for under 400,000. But why? Production cuts are attributed to uh, the complexity of design and manufacturing difficulties, especially with the micro OLED screens. The high three $500 price point is seen as a factor limiting demand. Alphabet, Google's parent company, has surpassed $2 trillion in market valuation. It is presently the fourth most valuable publicly traded company behind NVIDIA, Apple, and Microsoft. The corporation recorded an almost 60% profit gain over the previous year. Success is linked to strong Google search and YouTube. An individual's lifespan can be estimated by the advanced AI algorithm, Life2Vec, using demographic and health information. Users enter personal information such as age, gender, lifestyle preferences, family medical history, and health behaviors. The algorithms analyze the data to identify patterns and correlations between factors and health outcomes. Elon Musk's visit to Beijing played a crucial role in securing tentative approval for Tesla's full self-driving system in China. The approval presents opportunities for Tesla to collect valuable data for refining its autonomous driving algorithm. Tesla must navigate complex traffic conditions, regulatory requirements, and competition from local electric vehicle makers.